All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people, and welcome to Let's Talk TV. Your one and only YouTube platform that gives you quality news and information on every matter where they happen for Biafran territory. So we are discussing two issues. One is the ongoing, um, should I use the word xenophobic attack on the Igbos? Generally, that is our major discussion today. But meanwhile, let me give you the news that is happening in Biafran land. Do not forget that, um, you know, that the 30 days um, sit at home, 30 days lockdown, not sit at home. 30 days lockdown on the entire zoo institute um, in Biafran land is still ongoing. And um, honestly speaking, it is going woto woto. You might not be hearing, um, you know, you might not be hearing one or two, but the reality is that things are happening. And then um, this particular news just confirmed that as government set Anambra local government headquarters ablaze. So Anambra uh, local government headquarters have been set ablaze by government. And I think because of um they decided, you know, to go against um, the wish or rather the order of um, the 30 days um, lockdown. Without wasting much of your time, let us go to the news in details. The news reads, government, unknown government have struck in the Ogbaru local government area of Anambra State, setting the council headquarters on fire. A resident who spoke to journalist 101 said that the attackers stormed the headquarters in the early hours of Friday, August 30, 2024. The source, who wished to remain anonymous, stated that the assailants set several buildings ablaze and destroyed properties. The attackers came in the early hours of um, Friday and fired shots into the air before igniting part of the building. He said, This is one attack too many and we urge the relevant authorities to come to our rescue. We are living in fear of these attackers and this isn't um, the first time they have targeted our council headquarters. Confirming the incident, SPE Kinga Tochuku, the police public relations officer for the Anambra State Police Command stated that the attackers were gallantly resisted and that no lives were lost, although some buildings buildings were impacted. He noted that a joint security operation is ongoing in the area and he promised that further development will be communicated and that is that on the issue well i, d I don't want you to take the issue of um, <laughs> the police seriously because they cannot do anything if it's about that they cannot do anything they they will keep on giving hopes to people you know giving hopes or denying you know some certain things so that they won't look they won't look like um, bush meat <laughs> but the reality is that um it is going down in anambra state and in every part of biafran land and do not forget that these um at these attacks are not targeted them um, on biafrans that is just the truth we've seen videos where even biafrans commuters you know biafran commuters walk freely why there is an ongoing resistance you know on a particular um on a particular um government vehicle we've seen it on the internet it's, it is there on the internet and this i don't understand this one they are saying that and the people are you know scared they are not scared the people are not scared of those who are defending them they are only scared of um, the terrorists who are invading, you know, as um, as police officers and um, as army. They have killed a lot of Biafrans, and we know the reality. And that is why the Biafran, you know, um, the Biafran um, Liberation Army and the Biafran forces have actually been um, resisting these particular people. Without wasting much of your time, let us go into the issue of the day. And let us have a very serious discussion on the xenophobic attack being meted on the Igbos in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. Enjoy.
all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they give a back-to-back -back update on how things they be on how things they share for biafra land and beyond uh, if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this broadcast uh, as it is hot all right my people the latest one where will they get right now they say yes uh, pm has uh, debunked uh, some a uh, talk yeah um a debunked the talk from uh, um, ESN or rather from Enugu community. Yes, exactly. And first of all, I would uh, read out uh, what they said about what happened in uh, Enugu. Yes, they said that Enugu government says 27 kidnappers, ESN members, loyal to Simon Eber, killed by security operatives. <laughs> My people, we do they hear this one, shall we? Do they hear them um, every now and then? We are hearing something like this. Okay, uh, this is what PM Eba replied to it. He said, uh, Disregard this criminal in former Enugu. There is nothing like ESN. If they have killed innocent Biafrans through propaganda, we will retaliate heavily and they will feel the forces of Biafra in Enugu in a few days. All the command of the Biafra Liberation Army, Biafra Resistance Fighters, and Biafra Navy in Bakasi are intact. None of our fighters are missing. But if this is true, that means that innocent Biafrans have been slaughtered by the terrorist state in Enugu, and we will hit you very hard in the coming days. Is it on record that even former Abia states, the terrorist zoo, the terrorist uh, police, are shooting each other, thinking they are shooting non-existent CSN? What we have is BLA. Any day you announce you have killed Biafra Liberation Army, I will take you serious. <laughs> and for now, we will investigate and we will revenge. If Biafra, if Biafra sees that any innocent Biafra have been killed for this propaganda, I'm, I'm sure my people, uh, this is what they do. And uh, of course, the PM will not never hesitate to come back at it whenever they say things like this because of course that is what they do they wake up in the morning and they spread lies concerning the biafra movement just to let people think that they, they are they are fighting the war my people they leave the people they are fight, actually supposed to fight the fulani is invading the land and they look for people that are are, are, are supposed or are supporting the cause of the land or that would support the cause of the land if only there was an alignment yes that is what they would do because of, I don't see a reason why they would even to let's say they are trying to pull up propaganda and they come up and they say that they have killed uh, how many 27 kidnappers in quotes that are related to Simon Epa and ESN long before we've heard about how ESN is not it's not today we stay hearing that there is no longer ESN there has only been Biafra Liberation Army that is what it is and the PM has been making it known to every single one of them that there is nothing like an ESN but of course the Afonjas and the rest of them whenever they want to come up with other, any of their lies they come up and say that of course that there is a that they have a, they have caught so, so so and so but of course we know that they have not caught anybody they have not done anything uh, tangible at any point in time. The only thing they have done is to come up and look for propaganda to cause. And uh, it is not even, it is not feeling beneficial for any of them. Again, uh, the PM has also said, has commented concerning a recent video that has uploaded, I was uploaded. And he says that this is the, I wish I could actually upload these videos for you to see. Because uh, it is very, it would be very important for you to see these videos of how people have been slaughtered. He says, yeah, this is the terrorism of the Nigerian terrorists. Because I, I have the video. But because of the YouTube rules, uh, I cannot post them. He says, this is the terrorism of the Nigerian terrorists. HQ Nigerian Army against the Biafra people. Extrajudicial execution by the Nigerian Army. Another massacre of the Obibiu, Obiruru, Inhite, or where in or low local government theory of Imo state used by the zoo nigerian military these unarmed young men walking home and going about their business were shot dead by soldiers for committing no crime and this is what has been happening for a while now in Olo. genocide is happening under tinubu government let the world take note yes my people this is a popular journalist nonsongwa reports my people uh, we know that they are the horse where we're now so you could be anytime any day and like he said let the world take note that this is what this is what is happening this is this is what is happening on that in the government and of course nobody is taking note of it nobody is looking at it as something that is supposed to be a priority but of course that's why they be 
when the time will come when they work they will reach their water <laughs> they will not be able to escape it that is one thing i am sure of because of course the time will come when they will meet their doom and of course they will not be able to escape it and at that point that is when they will know that chuku kike is alive and so that is what it is whenever these kind of things happen we should expect the worst this because these people are nothing but the worst and they would only only do the worst that is just the truth. of achieving two objectives mm -hmm. one is the delegitimization of nigeria two is the legitimization of biafra now you may be wondering how the delegitimization of the zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria within biafra territory is something that we have been carrying out for the past few years the seat at home that we observe on a daily basis is not on a daily basis sorry on a on a on a monday basis is part of it they call them non-state actors that is what they called us non-state actors so in any country in any nation that the so-called non-state actors are giving instructions and the entire part of that country is locked down on a particular day that means it is a vote of no confidence in the government of that very nation within that very territory it is the, the, the legitimization of that of that name of the name of that nation or the government of that nation within that very territory the so-called non-state actors have no right to shut down the entire region of any nation that has a government no right whatsoever you can't shut it down you can't the only people that have the constitutional right to say today nobody goes out because you must give a reason for people to obey you and sit at home the only entity that has that very right to do so is the government of that very nation not the so-called non-state actors as they call us so for the fact that we have been doing it successfully that is number one delegitimization of the zoological republic of animal kingdom within the biafra territory that is number one and then not only that we have been showing to the whole world that biafra land is a nation of its own that now has a government that now has military organization air force police navy and everything including resistance fighters and has the capacity to conduct self-referendum which is voting voting process plebiscite whatever you may call it these are the signs of the legitimization of an animal kingdom within biafra land so now this declaration which is coming the declaration of biafra which is coming as soon as possible very very soon the declaration of biafra will now make it official that is the icing on the cake the icing of the on the cake will be the pronunciation the declaration the pro uh, the 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 uh proclaim the declaration will now make it official to the whole world that these people have declared their nation because let me tell you one thing the most legitimate way of building a nation the most legitimate way of coming together to have a nation is when the people within that very land come together to declare their nation that is the most legitimate form of having a nation 
not when outsiders the way britain did they invaded africa and say you 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 are Igbo, you are hausa you are yoruba you are this and that from today moving forward you are called the royal niger company territory of all of you who are not aware that was the former name of nigeria those of you who are not aware you are learning it today that was the whenever you hear royal niger company it is not a mere say it was the name the official name of nigeria the official name of the zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria it was called the royal niger company territory that was the official name the royal niger company territory you must put that you must remember that word territory that was the official name of nigeria in the olden days when it was amalgamated it was never amalgamated as a nigeria it was amalgamated as the royal niger company territory until a woman known as flora shaw a concubine of Frederick Lord Lugard suggested the name called Nega Area. And that name was adopted by her boyfriend or man friend, which is the Lord Lugard himself. <coughs> Excuse me. And today it becomes Nigeria. Are you understanding? So that is the reality on ground. And uh, let's listen to the uh, Prime Minister once again as we move. Legitimization of Nigeria. Two is the legitimization of Biafra. Now, like as I was saying, the most, you know, the most important way, the best form of making or having a nation is when the people when the people gathered and make a nation that is most the most legitimate way of making a nation not when you are being invaded like the zoo so declaring biafra on 2nd of december will now legitimize the biafra nation as an independent state because the origins the citizens the indigenous have come together to declare from today moving forward we are called biafra independent state of biafra that is the most legitimate way of making a nation not by invasion now let's continue after the declaration we are going to have a very long battle with nigeria very nice and good very 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 smart now we are fastly and hastily getting into the point where i want us to discuss we are hastily getting into that very stage. Are you paying attention? So, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile has said something that people have always been confused about. Pay attention. Please, wherever you are watching from, hit the like button. Whether you're watching from Facebook or YouTube, hit the like button. Very, very important. We are live and direct. And of course, Chuko Kikabi Amabine Ligwe is bearing us with Nedi. Time right now is approximately 35 minutes past 8 p.m. in the land of Chuko Kikabi Ama. This is our live presentation. He said, We are going to have a long battle with the zoo. And that takes me back to what I just said a couple of minutes ago when I was analyzing Benjamin Carlos' idiocy. I said that 
one thing that is making me happy that's giving me joy is that we do not know how long the Biafran battle with the zoo will last. You heard me when I said it. We are not certain how long it will last. That's what, what is making me happy. Whether the zoo is going to surrender within six months or they're going to surrender within one year or whatever, I don't know. But one thing is for sure, they will surrender and remember that we are not giving up. I didn't say giving up anytime soon, no? Because when you say anytime soon, it will look as if there, uh, uh, there's, there's any time in future where you are going to give up. No. Giving up or laying down arms is not on our dictionary. This is not 1967. This is not 1967 and can never be 1970. The zoo must be aware of this. And again, there's something the Prime Minister said. We are getting there. So, he said that we are going to have a long battle with the zoo. A long battle with the zoo. Which means that Ndi Bosuna na abu esibe eye geye aya no do anayana. Ebulo nyi ibo, no matter where you come from, you will understand what I said. Ne esibe eye geye aya no do anayana. If I pay you a visit in your house and uh, with determination of eating supper in your house, and then you are pretending that the food is not getting done, I will sit as far as I'm comfortable in that house. I will sit there and wait for that food until whenever it is done, we will eat it. We must eat it. I will be there in as much as I'm comfortable there and you and you 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 don't have any right even though you claim that it's your house but you have no right to ask me to leave you are pretending the food is not getting done I will be there and wait for that food until the food is done we will eat it that is the battle we are in you must understand it we will make the zoo uncomfortable for them to vacate. Whether they like it or not, they will vacate. And that, that brings me to another topic of where somebody made a comment and mentioned something that is called war of attrition. We will get, we will get into that later, but let's continue. After the declaration, we are going to have a very long battle with Nigeria. But this battle, the good news is that we define how this battle will be fought. The we good will fight news. them diplomatically, we will fight them politically, we will fight them internationally, and of course, we will fight them locally. We will fight them locally, which is militarily. We will fight them militarily. Now, he said the good news, the good news is we are going to be the one to define how this battle will be fought. Some people say, eh, eh, do you have enough army to, 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 to fight the zoo? Eh, do you have enough equipment to fight the, the, the zoo? Do you know they have a, a, a armored cars? Do you know they have a fighter jet? Do you know they have a, this and that? How I wish I could see that video. Oh my God, there's a video someone sent to me. Someone sent, I, I'm not prepared for that, uh, for that video. If I knew, I would have prepared for it. I wish I have a video where they were showing, they were showing, they were showing, uh, 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 military hardware, military armored personnel carrier, military, you know, uh, 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 uh bomber jet, fighter jet, super trocano. Uh, what's their names? Um, including uh, including ammo tanks and all that, that U.S. Army abandoned in Afghanistan and ran away. They ran for their dear life with all the equipment. The Afghanistan Afghanistan uh, uh, government, which you you call Taliban, they were showcasing those arms just a couple of days ago. How I wish I could see that video. I would like to play it. 
I would love to play that video, honestly speaking. So, people were asking questions. Uh, do you have uh, arms? Do you have this? Do you have that? Do you know Nigeria is equipped? Do you know the zoo has this and that? It is not about what they have. This is another thing that every individual must understand that it is not about what the zoo have. It is about the determination. It is about the determination. It is about the decision. And above all, it is about the strategy of those who are fighting us, which is us. And I got it from Neku. And more importantly, it's about the strategy of those who are fighting, which is us. Is about the strategy. So that is what the Prime Minister said, that we are, he said, the good part is that we are going to determine how this battle is being fought. We will determine it, not the zoo. In, 1960, in 1967, they determined for Bia France because of what we never knew what we wanted to do. The declaration of Bia France, let me tell you another mistake that caused that very uh, uh, conventional warfare. The declaration of Biafra in 1967 wouldn't have been the first. Are you paying attention? Ojuku did it. As a military man, a military head of state in the old eastern region of the zoo, a military governor, sorry. But he did not know that that declaration would have led to, to you know, um, to uh, uh, invasion that caused the, you know, conventional warfare. So he didn't do the need for. He didn't, he didn't do, he didn't put uh, many things in place because he never knew it would have le led to that. And again, during that olden days, the zoo thought that they can just invade Biafra and wipe Biafrans. Just wipe all of them in 24 hours. They never knew it would have been like that. Are you getting me? But now, this government of Biafra has already put everything in place whereby our men are in the bush, our men on Emofia. And they know where we are. The good part is that they know where we are. So they know where to get us. Are you paying attention? They know where to get us. They know where to find us. So you cannot leave us where we are and you go outside there to look for us. The whole world is aware where we are. Are you paying attention? So, these are the difference. We will determine how to fight this battle. We will determine it. And there is no any amount of threat. There is no any amount of, di amount of diversion of attention that will make us deviate from the principles and and the template of this very war no amount of threat or attention diversion that will make us change the strategies the template of this very war we must stick on our strategy and defeat the zoological republic you understand so we will determine as we have already determined how this war will be fought. They know where to meet us. I want to say it again. They know where to meet us because they know where we are. And we are not hiding. We are not, we are not saying, we are not panicking because they know where we are. No, they know. But they, let them come. They must come to meet us. Whether they like it or not, they must come to meet us. 
you cannot chicken out. If you chicken out, if you go and uh, hide in your barracks and you don't want to come and meet us, then we have defeated you. You must come to meet us because you cannot allow some group of people to, to carry AK-47 in within a place where you call your territory inside bush. You can't allow it. You have to go and, and fish them out. So come. The zoo must come to meet us. It's a must. Whether they like it or not, they must come to meet us. Eba wakaya no dunaga fam more. Eba wakaya no dunaga fam more. Mad people everywhere. So, the second of December is not after that. Some of you will come and say, "Oh, there is still military barracks. There is still you are going to have them." Did you get that? I told you that we have gotten to the the, the point that I want to, you know, analyze properly. Those of you who will say, oh, they are still high, we, they are still military barracks. They will be there. They will be there. Pay attention to this. This is one of the most important part of this very video and of course this very live broadcast. You will say after the declaration, there are still, uh, you know, checkpoints. Some of them we we'll still be there. It is not listening. Are you not the one who is telling us, are you ready to fight the, uh, the, the zoo? They have air force. They have uh, a, a, a bomber jet. They have a uh, military uh, personnel carrier. They have armor tanks and all that. Are you not the one saying it? So do you think they will have all of these things and then they hear that we have declared Biafra and all of them, they will, they will run? No! No way. It does not happen that way. No, you they tell us what they have. So how do you think that they will have all of those things and then they will run immediately? No. Those things they have will continue to give them hope and, uh, you know, encouragement that somehow they will defeat these people because army is trained not to uh, 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 not to um, uh, not to retreat. Army is trained, whether in the zoo, whether zoo army or elsewhere. Army is trained not to give up until they meet their Waterloo. That's why, especially this zoo and this Fulani army, we call them Janjaweed. Until they meet their Waterloo, they, they don't give up. So that's why the PM said we are going to have a long battle with the zoo. So by the time the freedom is declared, the, 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 the nation is declared, that is when the main battle will commence. That's why I told you it's going to be more brutal because that time he and I know doom doom. And this doom doom. Gonna sound will be sounding on top of their head, on top of their own head, on top of their own head. They don't know what is going to hit them. So, how do we conquer it? We will conquer it because we listen, like, like the proverb I gave you. I, I said, Esibe, Esibe. We are in our home. Biafra land is our home. We know the terrain. We know everywhere. They came. They are the ones who came here. They don't know here more than us. And again, the spirit of our land is with us because we are fighting to save the land. Are you paying attention? So, now, what next? By the time we keep on neutralizing the terrorists, sending them to Oboda Fudeme, they will run. Also, also, kafaye di weba puno Oboda. Also, kafaye di weba also. So, if you say, eh, the, if you see, if you see the barracks, don't think that once we declare Biafra, we will now stare them, oh yeah, leave the Afro land, they will just leave. They cannot chicken out. They will still be doing a Mokandi Abune, Quegan, Fisi, Baka, 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 Sia, Potawa, Fanesi, Afane, Fisi, Baka, Baka, Baka. 
once you send them to judgment other ones will come we will continue we are not we, we are not getting tired we can never be tired now the pm has something else to say let's listen to him but let me tell you if the vietnamese fought america for years and succeeded in making america to flee we are ready to fight nigeria even more than what vietnamese did and we dictate how this particular war will be fought are you paying attention that's why i told you the most another very important part is that the decision the determination the decision and the determination the decision to fight and the, the determination to stay in the fight never to quit and most importantly is the direction and the dimension of the war which will be determined by us so if the vietnamese if the afghanistans if the sudanese the south sudanese fought for many years and never surrendered until their nation is uh, uh, is guaranteed their freedom is guaranteed until their freedom is guaranteed how then do you think their friends will <laughs> will stop at any time soon or not even a, how then do you think that their friend can stop until the zoo government withdraws their military from biafra land the only thing we need is the withdrawal of the zoo military from our land that is the freedom of biafra i have always said it not tinubu not hopus adima not okezi bazu not uh, soludo the withdrawal of the zoo janjawi terrorist military in biafra land will be the free biafra that is the free biafra we are talking about nothing else nothing else the moment they will announce it in abuja and call off all the soldiers to return back to abuja that day will be the day of free biafra and you don't just get that with declaration the declaration will legitimize your nation and then the freedom that you fight for will begin from the day the zoo will withdraw their military from biafra land that is what we are doing we are never going into conventional warfare with nigeria but the delegitimization will take a different tone and what i'm trying to tell you people today is that you must be prepared for a very long years of battle for the legitimacy of biafra government did you get that a long years of battle for the legitimacy of biafra government within biafra territory and that